Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a frame for Canva. Okay, so if we go create a design, let's just go a thousand by a thousand pixels. I'll show you both text and with an object. So if we put some text here and just say, make it big. And we're going to use a nice looking text. So maybe we use Daydream because it's free. Okay. The main reason I wanted to be able to do a frame was so that I could change the text and put whatever colors I wanted in there, or if I could do like a gradient change in the text or make it gold or whatever I wanted. So this is why I was trying to figure it out. So we've got some text. Now let's just chuck in an element. This is, this is what my daughter likes. So we'll just do a unicorn for now. Okay. So in order to make the frame, you need to have the Canva Pro version because you need to save it as a SVG file. So let's just put you know what it's called let's download it as an SVG and you don't want to make the background transparent or anything just download it as a straight SVG now what, what you need next is PowerPoint so open PowerPoint and have a blank slide. So if anything's on it, just delete it. And then you're gonna go with insert pictures from this device. And we're gonna go with the frame before that we've just saved as an SVG. Okay, so now we've got this saved in here. So when you click on it, it's all one thing and we don't want it like that. So we need to right click and convert to shape. Okay, now I'm just going to highlight the whole thing, like the whole text. And then we're going to go up to shape fill. I'm going to go with picture. I'm going to go with from a file. Now this is just to show how it works. I'm just going to select this one that I've already got saved. Okay, so now that has changed it. Now when we import this into Canva, we'll be able to change this to whatever we want. It'll just be, this is just like a placeholder for now. Okay, so with the unicorn, let's do the same thing. Oops. And we'll just go shape fill and we go picture from file and we're just going to use the same background okay so now that that is done all we're going to do see how that lit up then I just deleted that back background that was there because it was like an extra box but what we're going to do now is we are going to go file save as I can save to download that's fine um, frames for Canva. Now we're not going to save it as PowerPoint, we're going to save it as a PDF. And save. Okay, and then we're going to go back to Canva and we're going to go, this is a folder where I've been saving them to, so we're just going to upload it into this folder, so find that PDF, so this frames for Canva, we're going to open it there. It automatically saves it as a YouTube thumbnail size sure why it does that but it does okay so now we've got this we can open it now these are all going to be saved as individual letters so see that's got this box lit up i just hit delete and that disappears okay and then you can highlight it all and hit group that's all together and that one, I'm pretty sure, comes across as one bit. Yeah, one bit. So all we need to do then is 
find whatever you want to put in it. So I've got so many things open. So let's say we wanted to put in gold writing. So it's going to be each letter individually, same as you would in any frame. But at least this is easier than putting those stupid frames together. And you can um, use whatever font you want. And then all you have to do is where you've saved this, let me just put that over here too. So where, where you've saved this, you just need to pick it up and copy it across to wherever you want to put it. So whatever document you're working in, and then you can just change it again. So yeah, and then if you delete it out, see how you've got that frame now? Anyway. I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial thing and I've actually figured out how to do something. I hope that helps you. <laughs> Good luck. See ya.